Hi, this is Infinity, and I'm going to show you how I made the dragonfly costume you just saw. So this is the main apparatus over here that you're looking at. The wings, here's the tail. Um, so the instructions for how to make the wings out of corrugated cardboard is its own separate video. There's yet another video of how I made the tail, and there's yet a third video of how I made the harness that everything attaches to. Obviously you can use your own harness or you can make the wings any way you want. This is, happens to be corrugated cardboard. The tail is made out of a swimming pool noodle. So those are separate videos if you decide to use any of those. Well, let me talk to you about the overall costume. So the first thing you want to do is pick a color scheme. So Dragonflies come in all different colors of the rainbow, literally, and I picked olive green because I happen to have a lot of olive green fabric in the house. So I started making a, a unitard. So you want to make either a unitard or a bodysuit, something to uh, cover your body with the, um, your color scheme. If you decide to go with the unitard, I used this pattern by Quick Sew pattern number 1935 for a unitard. They call them a jumpsuit nowadays. This is actually discontinued. You would have to get this on the secondary market on eBay. Um, I didn't wind up using it because I used a one-way stretch fabric and you need a two-way stretch fabric. So fortunately, <laughs> I was able to buy one on eBay in a similar olive green color. Now you do want your arms and legs to be black, so if you're wearing something with long sleeves, you could buy one of these uh, sleevelet things that go over your arms. Um, this was on Teemu, or eBay is fine, Amazon. You could also buy black sleeveless gloves to make your arms black. I liked these glittery ones. That was nice. Or you could just wear like a black bodysuit underneath a sleeveless garment. And then for your legs, if you're wearing a bodysuit, you wear black pantyhose, obviously. I had these boots that were um, came almost up to the thigh, so that worked out great. Um, so that's how I got the black and green color scheme. So these have its own videos, but I'm going to show you now about how I made the headpiece. So this headpiece was for um, the eyes of the dragonfly. And what I did was I, so I took leftover fabric from this failed attempt at making a unitard. And that's what you see underneath here. And what this is, is this is a Nerf football that was cut in half and then kind of shaved around a little bit to shape. I covered it in the green fabric and then I think you know what this is covered in. It's covered in um, fishnet stockings. So uh, it was quite easy to do. And they kind of emulate those big, huge eyes that a dragonfly has. So that's in the matching color. Now underneath that, so I believe if you're going to be an animal or an insect, you should hide your human features. So you want to hide as much of your skin and your hair as possible. You don't want to show human hair. You don't want to show human skin or just as little as possible. So instead of just leaving my own hair out, I had a green colored wig. I was fortunate enough to find a green colored wig. And then I had the, um, the dragonfly eyes over that. So that worked out well. All right. So that's pretty much everything. So um, as far as accessories, even if you wear the accessories, you want that to match. So like for jewelry, so I wore, I found a little pair of button green earrings. And I happened to have a necklace that was of a dragonfly. Because I like to keep something around my neck. If you want to wear a pin, um, you know, if you want to wear a dragonfly pin, you could wear a dragonfly pin. And then for the makeup, you want to um, also stick with the color scheme. So in this case, it was green, but your costume might be blue or pink or purple or even orange would be nice. 
So I have this dedicated box of just green colored makeup with some gold. I don't know if you could see it all. So I had not only just green eyeshadow, but I painted my eyebrows green. I had on green blush, which green blush is really green eyeshadow, and even green lipstick, which you believe it or not, you can buy green lipstick. You can buy lipstick in any color nowadays. Um, this was more green lipstick, green lip gloss, or you can just use a different makeup product on your lips. So don't have normal human colors. Use the color of the dragonfly for, for your makeup. Um, and I think that's everything. So as I said, this, these are its own separate costumes. It's own, I'm sorry, it's separate videos. These open up, as you saw in the beginning of the video. The uh, tail is removable. Oh, yes. Let me give you some advice here about this. Because... This can be quite bulky, and if you're going to a party where you're sitting down at a meal, this is very hard to sit in because there's really no give. So what I did when I was going to like a, a Halloween dinner, I took those off and I had, these are just cheap store-bought wings that I bought actually ages ago. You could see how old they are. And I swapped out the straps because I hate showing white straps, you know. I changed the straps with um, fabric from the costume so it would match. And then I took these wings off so that I could sit in a chair. And this uh, tail is actually Velcroed on. Let me see if I can get this off. The tail is Velcroed on because you don't want to store the tail and the wings as one piece. I mean, you can, but it might get bent out of shape in the car. So you can pop the tail off of those wings, and then if you want to swap out the wings for something smaller, in this case, the wings sat higher up on my back, and instead of the tail dragging on the floor, it just hung straight down. And I was able to sit in a chair with this and have dinner and, um, and it worked out just fine. It wasn't uncomfortable at all. And then when it's time for the contest, you put on the real deal. Um, this is just a piece of ribbon so that you can hang it up in your closet or on a coat rack for storage purposes. I think, I think that's everything. So if you decide to make this, have fun.